Becky with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas. On Cable Channel 3 and SandyLandCenter.org, our website. Today is Wednesday, the 10th of June already. The temperature here at noontime in the square is 92. And we're on our way to a partly cloudy day today with 95, the high temperature. <coughs> Thursday is partly cloudy and windy with a temperature of 95. Friday has scattered thunderstorms and a low and a high temperature of 71. So there must be a really neat cold front coming through uh, between Thursday and Friday. <clears throat> then uh, we have scattered thunderstorms predicted from Friday until Monday. <clears throat> with a 50% chance of rain every day. And so the high temperature Friday, 71. The high temperature Saturday, 81. And on Sunday, 85. And Monday, 88. And all with a 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms. <clears throat> Happy birthday today to Marie Yeager. And she's our only worth birthday for the next few days. And uh, one of the most uh, notable things that's happened in the city is that City Superintendent Mel has retired. And I remember when I moved to town that Mel was just beginning here. And so he had about 20 years or more of service as City Superintendent. And uh, it's uh, by far city superintendent is clearly not the easiest job in the city. And you have your good minutes and your bad minutes. <coughs> but over the years, uh, Mel acquired a very extensive knowledge of all of the city systems. And uh, he particularly, I know when I was on the council and we would go to a League of Kansas Municipalities meeting, uh, Mel would very often find a really good deal on uh, some kind of equipment that the city needed and just knew all of those people who, who, who did this kind of thing. And uh, so, with his knowledge, he will be hard to replace. And so just uh, as a personal thing, and for the Shepherd Center, uh, we wish Mel all the best in his uh, retirement and thank him for giving such a large part of his life to work for our city. And uh, there's a little bit about the things that are going on in the St. John News, and this is a good time to read the St. John News to keep up with what's happening in the city. <clears throat> then on uh, Friday, the, uh, the 12th of uh, June, at 11 to 4 in the Art Fellows Gymnasium is a community blood drive, and I think most of the People who participate in those know all about how they do it, and uh, just remind them that it's Friday. Now, uh, the Recreation Commission had uh, planned to have a movie and pizza on uh, June 13th, but they decided they like the uh, movie that's going to be playing on June 20th better than one that a lot of people didn't want to see on June 13th. So they have changed the pizza and movie night uh, or afternoon to June 20th. And again, that's a Saturday, just one more Saturday away. And uh, they leave uh, from Poppy's at uh, 6.30. They go there at 5.30 and have pizza. And then they go to Stafford, enjoy the movie, they have a pot and popcorn included, and they return home about 10 o'clock. And the fee is $25, which includes the pizza, 
the travel, the movie, the popcorn, and the soda. And so that would be a good thing. And this one is a musical comedy, Pitch Perfect number two. So uh, be thinking of that as you plan your events. Now, right after that, on uh, June 23rd, which is a Tuesday, the lunch brunch is going to have brunch. And they're going to the mustard seed in Beulah. And they leave at 8 and they stop at Adrian's after breakfast. They come home uh, when they're done in the early afternoon. And the cost of the trip is $10. And then their final trip of the month will be the Dodge Casino. <coughs> And uh, the, or the shopping mall, which is right near it, and they leave at 8 and leave the casino to come home at 2, and uh, the fee is $10. And then, as usual, all their trips are subject to the weather. And if it's too hot or it's too windy, it's not really a safe thing to go all the way to Dodge. So it could be canceled or changed. And those are most of the news that we have. We have the menus at the senior uh, fellowship uh, dinners. And here at the Sunflowers in St. John, they're having ham and beans today. On uh, Thursday, chicken and noodles with mashed potatoes. And on Friday, fried fish and baked beans. While well, in Maxville at the VIP Center, they're having chicken parmesan pasta with Mariana's, let's see, Mar Mariana looks like sauce. And uh, then uh, tomorrow, Thursday, uh, they'll have pork roast and sweet potatoes. And on Friday, I guess you have a choice of baked cod fillets or Salisbury steak and tater tots. And uh, that's all the news and announcements that we have right now. Uh, you sometimes could get the feeling that you're at the OK Ridge in a Western movie or in a combat film and the television with all of the people pounding nails in roofs. Uh, it's easy background to remember that maybe that's what happened. Well, uh, the word of the day is this, when you make your mark in the world, watch out for all those guys with the racers. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a great Wednesday and a great week.